Tomorrow morning, Ukrainian President Zelensky will address Congress virtually. He is expected to renew his calls for more weapons to fight against the Russian invasion. He's been reaching out for several weeks now, uh, pleading uh, with the West, specifically NATO, uh, to give him more support. The U.S. has been giving support. Just today, President Biden signing a massive government funding bill, which includes close to $14 billion in emergency aid for Ukraine. We're going to be able to quickly ramp up our response and help alleviate the suffering that Putin's war is causing. Today, Zelensky made an appeal to the Canadian Parliament for aid. You all need to do more to stop Russia to protect Ukraine. The U.S. Congress is expecting to hear that same message tomorrow, a message Bay Area Ukrainians are anxiously awaiting to hear because they are worried about their loved ones overseas dodging bombs and bullets. They hear explosions and, uh, you know, they have no hot water for large parts of the day. But uh, also, I know someone uh, who is working for the Red Cross in Kiev, helping people move. President Biden is planning a trip to Europe next week for a summit with NATO allies. Political analyst Larry Gersten says NATO is key. But the fact that President Zelensky said today, it's okay, we don't have to go ahead and join NATO, may be the beginning of a negotiated process that finds a solution to end this conflict. Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.